last video, most of you will think that, what am I? I thought you are in the north. What are you doing in the south? Come on, Nigeria is made up of north, south, west, and east. If you have so many added to it, I don't care. Since it's also Nigeria, I just have to be here. But hey, it's my second time here in Port Harcourt, and I'm here to inspire you, like I always do. But when I go to every new city, I always have to introduce the city to you. And I know I can't do that by myself. Nello is really busy, but I still have to let her come and tell me all we need to know about Port Harcourt. Nello, I know you're busy, but you have to get closer to me. Ah, boss, can you stop? Thank you. Pass. It's allowed in Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, 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 hi. Nello, Nello. Hi, everyone. Nello. <laughs> oh my God. Nello, okay. Oh. That's a must. It's good. The it's hug man is back. Good. Hug 2021. Hug back <laughs> in Port Harcourt. Thank you. You know, you were here almost two years ago. Two years ago, almost two years ago. And it's good to see you again. I mean, you've been doing so. <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing so amazing. Thank you. So amazing. We are so, all so proud. But yes, I'm here you. again. I know. And I'm happy that you're back. You know, so many people out there don't know what Port Harcourt is all about. If you should tell us what is about Port Harcourt that we need to know, what will it be? Port Harcourt, there is actually a lot of beautiful things about Port Harcourt. Okay. And one of those beautiful things is there are so many beautiful estates here and we're standing right in front of one of them right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Golf Estate. Golf Estate. Yeah. Are you the owner? Ah, don't I <laughs> wish. <laughs> don't I wish. Are you the owner? I'm the owner in spirit. I wish, I wish. Oh, owner, okay. Amazing. I have friends that have apartments here, you know. So you have friends that live here? Yeah, I have friends that live here. They, you know, bought the apartments and stuff, and it's amazing. It's really nice. Uh, is it's it owned by an African? It's owned by a Gambian, actually. Yeah. A Gambian. A Gambian owns an estate. Yeah, in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Built by Nigerians too. A Gambian. Yeah. Owner built by Nigerians. Yeah. So African connection. Exactly. <laughs> would exactly. you love to take me in there? Because I need I to. I would love to take you in, but I actually don't have access. You don't have you access? You have to live inside. It's a very secure estate. Wow. You have to live inside to have access to the estate. So, like. If I know someone. I'm going to call someone right now that can take us in. I appreciate, I appreciate. Thank you so much. Okay. Hey, don't forget that Nello OKK is also a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber guys. Uh, uh, make sure you check out the description box. Please. Go and subscribe. How many subscribers right. do you have now? I'm at 57,000. So we can I'm take you to. K, so we can take you to 70k. I'm okay, even with 60k. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone but road to 100k. Yes, so All right, please let me know your let friend and fantastic. Okay. That's your friend? Yes, Monique. This is Wademaya. He's a YouTuber, a blogger. The biggest we have in Africa. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Maya, I'm, seriously, come. I've heard so much about him. So good to see you in person. In blood and in flesh. Yes, thank you. Really nice to meet yes, you. Monique. Oh, you live here and, and work, work here. here. Isn't yes. that amazing? Amazing. I live and I, I work in the Gambia. Not at all. I'm a Nigerian. You're a Nigerian. But above all, an African. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. I love that. Monica, she told me that like she knows you, you live yeah. and work here. And for me, I travel to learn. You know what? I really want to know how this whole project started. How long have you been staying here? Um, so I put together seven years now. Seven years? Mm -hmm. So which means you were here when it started? Absolutely. I'm one I'm like the oldest staff of the company. Tell me something that you think I need to know. <laughs> you need to know so many things. In fact, this beautiful golf estate that can stand and compete with any other estate in the entire world and in the globe started like it was just a big, would I call it a forest or a Empty bush? Forest. Empty, Empty land. Empty like land that had there. so many trees on it. Was it in fact, a, a swamp or? Exactly. The yeah. phase two of it was swamp that we had to some fill. Oh. When my MD came with his ideas, his vision, I was like, is he really going possible? to achieve anything? Is this possible? I mean, the Gambian MD? Yeah. Yes, the Gambian MD, Mustafa Nja. I don't know if you've met him. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No. Good. You'll meet him. Don't worry. I'll, I'll introduce you to him at the end of this video. When he came, I was like, this was so impossible to achieve. But he kept telling us, it's possible. I can do it. I can wow. do it. It's very possible. And today... I mean, I mean, you guys should have looked at him like, you this guy yeah, coming crazy. from 
Gambia, a country of 2 million people, you're telling us that it's possible in 200 million? We actually thought that, but we couldn't voice it <laughs> as our MDCU. Because look at here what? today. That's why we call him our visionary leader. Oh, right. Seriously. The visionary leader. Leader. We started with this set of houses here called the terraces. Oh, okay. The standalone, four bedroom and five bedroom. Mm -hmm. After This was sold in one week. No way. These houses here were all sold in one week. No we had not built. We were still doing, we were still clearing the site. Okay. We sold out, in fact, we sold off plan without wow. any form of construction wow. on ground. People bought wow. off plan. Wow. Is that not amazing? I, like, I can't even wow. believe what you're telling me. <laughs> that place was fallow. It was just a lush land. Nobody was living anywhere. Which means we are the first estate, the first real estate um, company that came into this place. We actually gave value to this place. And the biggest in Port Harcourt, right? So far, the biggest in Port, in Port Harcourt so far. But you are yet to see, so you are yet to see hey, what even this one that I'm seeing, is. I'm surprised. And he said, I'm yet to see. And this is massive. We, we have the block up. If you, if you don't mind, let's go down and see definitely, what it's definitely, all about. Definitely. So, Maya, you're welcome. Thank you. Particularly, I want to show you our standard three bedroom. This is uh, exactly how it is across board. Yeah, we have about 700 and something of this. 700? Yes, because we have 38 buildings. Wow. Each house in 16 units. Wow. Or something of three bedroom, two bedrooms. So it's about uh, 700 or 500? 706. Yeah, 706. Wow. So this is a typical three bedroom. The rooms are all in suits with a visitor's toilet. So this is the sitting room. We can go and check out one of the rooms to see what it exactly looks like. I think for the NC, it is because of you being Nigerian. I think yes. so. Yes. Because in yeah. Ghana, you so. can have two bedroom house, Sharing. three bedroom, and we share one. One toilet. Okay. It's not common here. Nigerian. It's not common here. <laughs> <Nigerian. laughs> <laughs> so let, let's see the, the last room. Okay. Yeah. This way, please. This one. Okay. Yeah. So basically, there's it. And this oh, is the toilet. Toilet. Yeah. Wow. And every bedroom got this. Definitely. That's definitely. incredible. With a wardrobe. Thank you. Now we are in our phase two okay. of the estate. Maya and Nello, this is our grand villa, where we have the grand villa of the estate. Okay. We have amazing houses here. On my left here, we have the terraces. Can you see it over there? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful houses, beautiful. lovely houses. What you see outside, it's more like you're not seeing anything. The inside is top notch. Over here on my right, you see these are standalone houses. See the greens, the colors, the houses with a different scheme. Yeah, yeah, good enough. We have the four bedroom standalone okay. and the five bedroom standalone houses. And in this phase two, we don't even have the block of flats at all. Oh. What you're seeing here is just the tip of the iceberg. The further we go, the more amazing it becomes. Wow. And I'll also take you to one of the, show you one of the amazing houses we have here. In as much as all of them are amazing, I'll just pick one out how, for how you to see. How many houses do you have in here? Then? Put together in phase two, we have about 250 standalone wow. houses. Yeah, Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Can you beat that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you know the good part of this? It will amaze you to know that it's a Gambian that came here to our Nigeria to do all of these wonderful works. And he's working with Nigerians? Absolutely. Most of the contractors he used there are Nigerian Nigeria. contractors. Wow. Which means that Africans can actually make it in Africa. We can I make mean, it Africa in the entire world, not just in Africa alone. We shouldn't restrict Africa ourselves. Are it in Africa. Yes, they are. Coupled with the fact that many people think in Africa we live in caves and we live in a lot yeah. of rocks. <laughs> we live in bushy. <laughs> we live in caves uh, and we live in rocks. Exactly. Yeah. And we are that developed. Yeah. Right now, I am saying this right now Tell them. that this estate, the <laughs> Rift of Gulf estate, mm -hmm. can stand at par with any estate in the world, be it in Dubai, be it in America. Meet in Canada, just mention what you see here. Can you say it's not in any other part of the world? It's beautiful. It's everywhere. What would you I say, Maya Nello? No, I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible. Like, I don't even know what to say <laughs> because knowing that it's owned by an African even gives me some kind of joy in my heart, you know, because sometimes when you see beautiful things like this, it's whoa, not owned by an African. It's not owned by an African, you know. And finding out that it's owned by an African, and, you know, I, I read something about him. He didn't have, like, a university degree. No way. 
He didn't. Really? He no. didn't have a university degree. You know that's so common in Nigeria or in Africa. Like, we actually, a lot of people succeed without education somehow. Somehow. That's so true. That's so yeah. true. He came here with this mindset. But look at it today. It was a vision initially. Now it's a reality. Really? See I how wonderful how it looks. I maintained it is. I'm telling you. You can tell well that maintained. the whole place is maintained. Very clean. And, and, and no the, trash on the road. People are even working. Exactly. You know? and, uh, and it's like it has created like employment for the people too. A lot. I'm an do example you know, of those he created employment idea. for. Do you have an idea of how many people are employed here? Yeah. Um, I could say initially when we started, we had the Senegalese that came from Senegal. We have most of them. We've had the used local contacts here in Nigeria. Mm. I could say we had close to a thousand workers. Wow. Engineers, wow. we had um, the masons, and we also yeah. had the people that maintained the estate. Yeah, even so he really, he really gave employment to everybody and most persons and, and i would say i am one of those also wow. that got the opportunity benefited to work and benefited here. from all of this construction from mustafa and joy you will get to meet him very soon I, I don't worry i'm no, actually to excited to meet him as well but, but i will tell you one thing he's very busy but whichever way, I'll create a five, two minute window for you to get to meet him and talk Say, briefly with him. Let me check one of the houses out and I will definitely meet him. That's okay, fine. Let's you. go, please. You're welcome, Maya. Thank you. Oh, okay. This is our typical four bedroom standalone duplex. Yes, it's beautiful. Wow. Yes, and the good thing about this, from scratch to finish, furnishing everything, well done by Nigerians. The the furnitures, the windows, all done by Nigerians. This would work. Definitely, definitely, oh, absolutely. definitely, Look definitely. The chairs. Everything the in here. The painting. Of course, of course, of course, <laughs> Nigerians can do it. <laughs> Built and designed by Africans. Definitely, wow, definitely, beautiful. definitely. These are the things that I really love to talk about. You know? Definitely. And the kitchen alone is mind yeah. blown. I forgot to add. This also is smart house. Smart home. You can shut the door, off the lights, everything basically. Security through your phone. Really? Definitely. Anywhere, wow. anywhere you are in the world. No way, like. Anyway, anyway, you, you, control with your you control with your handset. Wow. You can turn off the music, turn it on, switch on the light, open the, the AC, is everything. You know, the cheapest <laughs> building here. How much does it cost to the most expensive one? Uh, let's say it, it ranges. I would say the most expensive. Let's go to about uh, that would be about three to four hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Yes. With what? the swimming pool inclusive. With the swimming pool, everything. Close to four hundred thousand dollars. Close to four hundred. The, the most expensive. The one. most expensive. Yes, let's say four hundred thousand dollars. And the one that we are in cost how much? This is about two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Wow, I can't even imagine what. This is. Do you yeah. understand what is going on in here? I, I, I feel like they build a community for everyone. True. Definitely. Because, because they are way more affordable. The apartment that we yeah. went to. Definitely. Definitely. It doesn't look like, like on a normal day, these two buildings won't be in the same place. Exactly. You know? People just build small apartments separately and you know... Have a high bro stuff yes. for some high class people. Yeah, we Please, try to know, cover I, everything. I, I really have to meet the man behind it. Okay. You will require a vision. I'll take you to him. So you take you to him? our visionary leader yeah. that made his vision a reality yeah. that we're seeing today. You'll meet him, but I'll tell you, he's a very busy person. No, let me meet him. Oh, wow. Definitely, Definitely. you'll get to see him. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Maya, mm -hmm. Mr. Tab is really busy. Really busy, but yeah? In as much as he has a very busy schedule, uh -huh. I will want you to meet him before he leaves. Where is he? He's over here. Hey, I'm hey, delighted to introduce Mr. my Tom, MD Mr. to you. Maya, how you doing? <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, but no. they told me you're a carpenter and you're in this car. I mean, these cars are not for carpenters. <laughs> I know. I'm so busy now. Not for carpenters. Not for carpenters. Okay. But I'll have time for you tomorrow, huh? Okay. I'll definitely have a lot of time for you tomorrow. We, we have to talk. Okay, we'll talk. We'll talk. Thank you so yeah. much, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you, see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay, then. Thank you. Right. Thank, you. Right. Thank you very much. Monique, thank you so much for making yeah. this possible. Mm -hmm. But Monique, if you have a message for Africans, 
What would that message be? Maya, do you know that Africans, they have the potential to unnest what they have. But we really do not unnest what we have because we have the God-given strength, intelligence. We also have the ability to do whatever it is we set our mind to do. Example of that is what you see right here in the Gulf yeah. Estate. Built by an African, thought by an African. It was envisioned by an African, but today it's a dream come true. It's a reality. Yeah. Nello, you have a message for Africans <laughs> watching us right now? I mean, my message. My message would be never give up. I know as Africans, we face a lot of obstacles, a lot of things trying to set us back. Don't let it set you back. Just keep going, keep striving because we are strong. Africans, we are really, really strong because I mean, we just are, so never give up, really. That's my message. So never let anything hold you back from subscribing to Nello KKZ YouTube channel. Yes. Um, like I said, you have to reach. 70,000? Yes. Yeah, exactly. We're Please. 70, I mean, we're trying to get to 70. It's free to subscribe. Please go to her YouTube to channel, channel. Subscribe. Help her reach 70K. Please. And don't begging. forget to subscribe to me. I need to reach ah. 700K. 70, yeah. 700. We're hitting 1 million this year. 1 million this year. Yes. Definitely. 700 this week. Hey. Amen. 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 That's good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a Thank you, Adi Maya. Thank you, Leno.